So what are we doing today? We are getting new things. Go and take a chance, will you let me ride? I could be the best thing in your life. Maybe let's take a drive, take a drive. You got me for my birthday some new things and now I've got to pick it up. I mean, I have to choose first. We see what I like and uh, what they have and let's hope we find something we do like. Let's go! Free diving fins. What can I tell you? They are longer and with an enclosed food pocket as they are designed to maximize efficiency when swimming. When choosing the right fins, there are three important parameters. Comfort of the food pocket, and that's why Jan has to try them before, material and stiffness. There are three types of materials. Plastic, fiberglass and carbon. Fiberglass and carbon have a higher performance than plastic because the material is more responsive. When you bend it, it snaps back into place very quickly, but learning to use long fins is apparently a process and you can quickly develop bad habits. So we've been recommended to learn at least for the first six months with plastic fins. So that's what we are getting today. There are also three different stiffness, soft, medium and hard. That's dependent on the size and the weight mostly, but the condition can have an impact. If you are in conditions that require to swim harder, like against a current or very deep when the buoyancy is more negative, then a harder blade can help. Then comes the design, which is more of a personal preference. In theory, it can be favorable to wear a different color than the wetsuit, not to appear as a big mass, although I'm not sure how much of a difference it actually makes. So those ones you can take off the blade and yeah. when I get more comfortable with it yeah. I can... Yeah. So what's the main difference between the plastic and the... Yeah, so like if you... When you use a carbon fin they get what's called a parabolic bend, so they actually bend twice. Mm -hmm. and therefore like the rear bend pushes the front, so as okay. you're kicking it's pushing at the same time. Because yeah. like when you're finning, like if you put your foot out straight like that, that's how you fin. So like you're never going to step out of... Yeah. Like that. So that's yeah. why it's always good to go a little bit bigger. Like, yeah. Rather than getting because you're never like this. You're never like that. You don't feel yeah. like you're always feeling no, straight. So it can never actually come off your foot. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I feel actually better on yeah. those ones. Alright, so Jan ended up getting those fins. Um, the food pocket felt a bit better and uh, the stiffness is more in line with uh, what he needs. And yeah, that was a couple of days ago and now we are actually getting ready to um, go to the reef. Um, it looks like we have a nice weather window because there's some a bit of wind today which should make for a good sail and then tomorrow the wind is going to start to die off um, completely dead the day after tomorrow um, so yeah that will give us a couple of nice days on the reef hopefully we can you know enjoy swim etc and um, give those uh, fins a bit of a test um, yeah we'll be we'll do a bit of a comparison between the old and the new see how faster it goes and that sort of thing so yeah that should be cool so today we are heading to the reef second try we have like the two hours maybe an hour and a half depending on how quick we are of sailing then we're gonna motor for an hour and we can anchor inside the reef and maybe this time we can catch some fish i hope so Yeah. 
All yeah. good? All good. We are on our way to uh, Arlington Reef, but as always, we still have a plan B, which would be to stop on a reef before because there are some uh, mooring boys over there. If we can't make it in time, or if when we see that we're about to arrive, the visibility is not great, it's easier to go and get a boy because uh, it avoids having to spot too many bummies and that sort of thing. So we'll see how we go, but so far we're making good progress. So it looks like we might be able to go all the way and uh, the sun is coming out as well so yeah we'll see all right second try fly little fish fly Let's hope so. Yes. I think we've got a fish. Ah, I think he's just he's trying to, to bite it. Oh, I can see it. No, he doesn't have it. Come on. Was it a bite? You saw the fish. Mm -hmm. It was biting it, but it didn't grab. Now it's at the surface. I don't know why. It's probably twisted. Oh no, there's there's a small one. I think there's a small one. Nice. You see? Yeah. Oh, that's more? <laughs> you grab it or you want me to get it? Yeah, try to get it. Finally, we can eat some fish. Nice. Right, so after this win, it was time for us to drop the sail and motor our way through the logger passage because it's not very wide, so you kind of want the control of being on your motors. And after that, we just wanted to stop because we wanted to prepare that fish, so we decided not to go all the way to Arlington in the end and stop at Blasoff Reef and actually discovered that some of our friends were there, so we ended up staying there. We made it! Yay! We always stress when we come onto the reef probably because we touched in the past, so yeah. But yeah, all good. We're on the mooring. We just need to secure it. And that's it. We can enjoy. Look how beautiful it is. We can go prepare that fish. We've got a fish. Yeah. Look at the beast. It's not small, not at all. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, let's go prep it. Okay, it's been three years. I need to remember how you prep them. Just do as you can and you learn and you get better. Exactly. I think the thing is, 
I'm a bit greedy. I'm trying. Greedy? Yeah. Greedy, yeah. I'm trying to lose as little as I can. Maybe that's not the way. But who cares? I mean, I'd rather have more meat than a perfect fillet, to be honest. So, yeah. Just, just get all the meat. I'm hungry. Oh, oh, oh. It's not perfect, but it's nice. Look at all the meat. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How many days do you think we can last just on the half? <laughs> I'm very hungry, so I don't know. I'm glad we got new tools to do the filleting. Yeah. It's better. Bigger knife, sharper. How do you find it? It's very sharp, so I'm a bit scared to yeah. cut myself. Right. Well, there's a little bit of meat left. A little bit? <laughs> it looks like two meals. <laughs> Just the, the fish is too big. Yeah. It's not too big. It is big. It's never too big. That's what she says. <laughs> Have fun. So where's that fish? Wow. <laughs> wow. How long are we gonna? Pfft, that's so heavy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna eat for so long with it. <laughs> oh my god, it's too heavy. You're gonna have to take it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually really heavy. I don't know how much there is, but I try to portion it out. Maybe some days we're gonna have more, maybe some days a bit less. But um, yeah, at least we can freeze some. Uh, and I think I know what we're gonna eat for the next four days. <laughs> nice that's what we wanted yeah i'm so glad and it's delicious i tried some did you yeah mm, i want some too <laughs> apparently we are not alone we have some business Wow, thank you. Mm. Let's try this beautiful fish. Very fresh, just catch it. Mm. Nice. It's good? It's very fresh, it's nice. Nice. Mm. Are you ready to test those fins? 
Yeah, let's go and test it out. <laughs> You've got long feet, babe. <laughs> from probably the tip of the boat coming back to me. Okay. First to the test, the long fins. And for the contestant, the short fins. What you gonna do when the rain is coming down? Nothing more to do when there's no one else around. Bring it back to the middle, push. Take it back to the rhythm. Keep it up for good when the sky's falling down. All you gotta do is to bring it to the ground. Get it up to your inner mood. Stop, start, down. So, how were the new fins? They felt awesome. Yeah, I really felt like when I was kicking, I was going like way faster than with the other ones. Um, I didn't feel really my ankles because the guy said it could hurt my ankles, but um, it was fine. But I was really enjoying it. Like, I don't know if I was faster actually. Like, was it? Was yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. I don't know the exact time, but I think you were at least three or four seconds faster. Wow. On such a short distance, it's, uh, it's quite a Oh, lot. yeah. I'm not surprised because I could really feel it whenever I was kicking it. I was really going faster. So um, yeah, they felt great. Um, I really like the shape of it. I guess I'm going to have to train to get better. But um, so yeah, it felt great. Um, can't wait to use it while uh, we go spearfishing or diving. I guess we're going to go spearfishing tomorrow. So um, if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe and have a look at the next video.